the goal is not to to you know have an ayahuasca ceremony every weekend so that you can maintain this balance that this medicine may have shown you in your life that was not there before. On that vector, what are some examples of this information and how is it making your life better, worse, or different? Yeah, I think, I mean, it's useful to uh, make the comparison with standard pharmacology where you take take the drug as a passive recipient. I think even, even in some of the clinical trials, there's 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 a sense that people on psychedelics are just receiving an experience and the, the experience in and of itself will do the transformation. But we know, as you suggested, we know from the neuroplasticity that that the changes in the dendrites and the neurons will persist over quite a long period of time afterwards. But it's up to the person to engage with that, that window mm -hmm. when things are molten in the brain or molten psychologically or molten spiritually. So that it requires actively engaging with the memory of the experience or the felt sense of the experience. And for me, it, I mean, I, so I, uh, since since coming away, I've got say say I've got five major things that I learned about myself, and one of them is that I I tend I I am more effeminate, for example, than I uh, I took myself uh, than I took myself to be. I think I've been very I was brought up in a kind of an industrial northern heartland where machismo was the the rule. Well, taking ayahuasca, for example, in the Amazon just flooded me with a sense of uh, how, what you might call in cliche terms, my femininity and how I needed to nurture that. So that I, I've built a kind of outlet for that, not, not wearing dresses so much, but drawing, for example, and singing, for example, and just allowing that insight to consolidate around a number of practices where I'm actually taking responsibility for them. So it's not about this passive recipient of a message and then I'm changed. It's actually hinting at something that resonated with an intuition in myself and then going about taking actions to, you know, bring that into being.